Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for, as promised, more dinosaur action. This time we have a Rebore Raptor from the original film, and it's named the Velociraptor Winston because it's based on Stan Winston's raptors from the first film. Obviously there's quite a few people involved in bringing these to life in the movie, but Stan Winston is an absolute legend, and this is a lovely homage to him. An incredible looking figure, surrounded by some other figures that I've got in the collection. We'll talk about those more in the future. But I hope you enjoy this review, folks. Drop a like on it for me, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram at DeanKnight333. Enjoy the video. Here is the box that the figure comes in. Very simple and effective. Beautiful photograph of the piece on the front of the box. And on the back there is... Well, there does seem to be a variant in colour option as well. Yeah, on the back here, so that's the one I have. And then we have... Oh, I think this is actually... The one that's kind of just one color tone, it's like, I heard about this, I saw the videos on YouTube, 1000 Worldwide Limited Bronze Version. So, just a single bronze tone to this one. I guess it comes with a little baby raptor as well. I haven't seen that anywhere on eBay, so that must be hard to get. This was quite hard to get, I just got this because a good guy in the UK was selling it. And uh, snapped that one up, just had to get the raptor. I always love that first movie. I saw the first Jurassic Park five times at the cinema back when I was about 12. You know, my mum was good enough to bring me to see it five times. She enjoyed it as well. But magical movie for me is a big, big part of my childhood and it really means a lot to me. So the fact that companies like Rebor and Papo and W Dragon and Namu, I think it's called, there's so many others as well, just producing so many incredible dinosaurs from that movie. This is a really stunning piece. All right, now I'll get them turning on the rotating base for you in a moment, but we'll just concentrate on the sculpt stationary here for a sec. You can move the arms backwards and forwards, and you can open and close the mouth. But other than that, it's basically a statue. I do appreciate the little movement that we have, and it's really nice that they included the kind of base here that his feet plug into, because if he didn't have that, this guy wouldn't stand up so very very glad that he has a nice sturdy base to perch upon and yeah it's just a nice sandy effect see the nice turn in the the back leg there i'll get a better look at that when he's turning nails look good pattern on the skin detail the sculpt the teeth are usually really convincing and that is definitely the case here love the effect on the eye really reminds me as it should do of the original raptors this angle right here is reminding me of when they are up in the kind of roof above him and you can see the light kind of coming through the pattern of the tiles whatever you call it i'm forgetting the technical name now but you know the bit when they're trying to escape near the end and you get a nice close-up of the raptor head with all the different kind of patterns from the lighting above it's very accurate looking. All right, let's get him turning because that is when this thing is really going to shine. Okay. I'll stay far out like this with a full body shot and get a couple of turns. Then I'll zoom in. I love the way they've sculpted the tongue, like it's moving. It's amazing. But yeah, check out the pose on the leg at the back there, his right leg. I love that. Absolutely stunning piece. I'm going to close his mouth because he looks really focused and serious with the mouth closed. Obviously a lot more threatening with the mouth open. But let me just close that up. All right. Yeah, it really snaps shut as well. It's a very satisfying kind of click when you close the mouth. I'll move the arms in a minute as well, get a bit of movement for you, but that just looks so focused. Really, really creepy.
love the gloss on the eyes. Beautiful. Now just give you a quick look because I'm rearranging the shelves again because I want to have a little Jurassic Park tribute in the middle. Got some more stuff on the way. And seeing as they're dinosaurs, I wanted to bring Godzilla back to the shelves. I'm gonna have to move the Toy Story guys and get ready for this. This is nuts. <laughs> Everyone who was on both shelves is now on one shelf. I'm gonna fix it, don't worry. I'm gonna have to spend some time in here when I have a moment, but just giving you a little peek of what I'm working on display-wise. The Indoraptor by W Dragon will be the centerpiece in the middle. A bit bigger, that's 115th scale. And all the Godzilla stuff. Go check out my buddy Seb as well. Yeah, that's his YouTube name there, Evam Seb. And the Marty McFly Back to the Future Part 3 review he's just put up. I had that playing while I was rearranging my shelves. Always got to support the other collectors out there, the OGs. He's an OG. He was around, you know, in the early days when I was starting out as well. So go support Evam Seb. Give him a subscribe. Give him a sub. All right, see you later. All right, now I've moved the arms forward a fair bit. I think it's better suited when they're further back like they were a moment ago, but just to show you that you can. Maybe with the arms fully forward with the mouth open could be quite terrifying. Let's have a look and see. Okay, now the arms are fully forward, and I still think they're going to look a lot better when they're just back. It creates this kind of sense of motion forward. I guess this does too, but kind of looks like he wants to peer over a wall and kind of just go meh so I'll put his arms further back I think yeah it looks so much better with the arms back but do appreciate the movement so let's just get in here I want to get a good look at the mouth as it's turning here with the teeth wow and the tongue looks so good the teeth look excellent for this scale as well look how sharp they look Beautiful. One more time. Let it come round. Maybe snag it from a lower angle. That is so cool. And this is how the Raptor scales up next to Rebor, same company, Rebor's T Rex. Now, this is the oh god I forget the name now is this uh, yeah this is Rexy and then the other version they do which is the same sculpt but more of a lost world look that's the buck the male uh, so this is the female from the original Jurassic Park and this is how it looks next to the Raptor now the T-Rex should definitely be bigger or the Raptor should be smaller they're not in scale with each other very well but still display very nicely together uh, even the Papo Raptor here which that was one of the very first really decent looking dinosaur figures I got. Uh, even that one is a little bit too big for the T-Rex by Rebor. But that could always just be a younger raptor next to this one. Although the paintwork is a lot lighter in tone on camera anyway than the Rebor version here. I could always repaint that. I am actually going to be doing a bit of repainting on some dinosaur stuff uh, soon. So I'll be bringing you that in the future. Got a few projects up my sleeve. But I'll have to bring you another video soon about these beautiful bases you can get from Rebor. It's a double pack, so you get this one and another one over here that I'm using for uh, this guy, which is a bit more green, a bit more life to it. It's the same sculpt, but just with a different paint job. But this particular dinosaur by Papo, that always had a bit of trouble standing. And this a uh, beautiful Rexy. Uh, unfortunately the legs do warp a little bit and she has a bit of trouble standing up as well. So that's I think why they made these unofficially, you know, kind of so that you would have something to prop the T-Rex up against. But I'm thinking about doing it as a separate review, but I've got so much to do just in case I don't get to it. You can get these beautiful uh, bases separately and the T-Rex is basically just leaning up against that bit of tree there. But it all looks really... It just brings the whole piece to life, man. It's absolutely awesome. But yeah, very nice affordable double pack of bases you can get from Rebor. I hope they do more of that. 
This can get quite addictive, folks. These Rebor figures and all the other companies, they've made so much. I'm trying to stick to just Jurassic Park 1, with the exception of the Indoraptor by W. Dragon. Another quick close-up of the head and the mouth area, because that's just a real highlight here. Teeth look so sharp, tongue looks so weird, you know, just looks really creepy. I can hear that sound um, that it's making, a particular sound it makes as its tongue moves like that when it's about to pounce on them at the end. It's kind of like this mocking kind of, gotcha. You know, it's such a great scene. It all is, you know, the first film. Um, I'm re-watching all of those with a girlfriend at the moment on the weekends. Uh, we've got to watch, we started backwards. We started with Dominion, <laughs> then we watched Fallen Kingdom, then we watched uh, Jurassic World, and then we watched Jurassic Park, so now we got to watch The Lost World and Jurassic Park 3, and I've been resisting getting a Spinosaurus for a long time, and I just know that when I watch um, Jurassic Park 3, maybe this weekend, maybe next weekend, it's going to finally make me pull the trigger on a Spinosaurus, but now I'm not sure between the W Dragon Spinosaurus or another one that's out there, I forget. But there's so many YouTube videos you can watch, kind of go down the rabbit hole and learn a lot. Like I said before, it reminds me a lot of when I got into uh, Godzilla in a big way. There were so many helpful videos on YouTube uh, helping me learn about different companies and discovering new companies and, you know, just learning about them and trying to decide every time I pan up and see that it just blows my mind look at that it looks like a explosion he looks like a mushroom cloud of just it's just amazing the big ass tail look at that tail oh my god <laughs> but yeah like I said I'm going to try to keep it to the first movie Jurassic Park like I said with the exception of the Indoraptor because it's such a cool creation uh, I had to get the W Dragon version of that it looks beautiful um, yeah so final thoughts and a score out of 10 are an easy 10 out of 10 again you know I tend to do my research before I buy stuff and these figures have been out for a long time so you know I knew it was going to be pretty much a 10 out of 10 before it even arrived as long as it arrived in good condition which it certainly did I knew this was going to be just you know an absolute masterpiece of a figure of a raptor from the original movie so 10 out of 10 and should you get it absolutely they're not so easy to come by now and they can get quite pricey so hunt around just like the raptor would and get yourself one of these if you can because i highly recommend it come on jurassic park the first movie that is one of the probably top 10 movies of all time because remember back before that movie we'd only seen cgi a couple of times in films not like this the way they, you know, mixed the animatronics and the puppets and the CGI all together, only using CGI when they had to. I got that sense when I rewatched it again recently, and I thought, wow, you know, you've got to respect it. The kitchen scene, all of it, you know, it's just amazing. So, highly recommend this one, folks. 10 out of 10. Let me know what you think in the comments. Drop a like on it for me. My Godzilla videos, my dinosaur videos don't do well. Uh, you know, they linger around 300 views for a couple of weeks and, you know, I just do them because I want to share stuff with you. Uh, but it would be nice if they would do a bit better, so anything you can do to help that, that would be greatly appreciated. Just drop a like and leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts, any memories about watching the original Jurassic Park. How old were you when you first saw it? I was 12 and it was an absolutely magical experience the first time seeing this. I was a, such a big dinosaur fan, absolute dinosaur geek as a kid. and. 12 years old seeing this happen on this big screen in front of me for the first time was magical absolutely packed out cinema it was it was not the premiere but very soon after that and like i said i dragged my mum back five times to see it again and again and again and loved it every time so absolutely awesome piece thanks for watching guys i'll be back soon with more videos take it easy see you soon Bye bye